Hello everybody, uh, this is my second ever uh, knife review, um, so uh, again this will be a, just a quick overview and I got two knives for you today, obviously they're going to be a Spyderco review here. So I got the, both the, the Sage uh, models here, I got the carbon fiber and I got the titanium, uh, so I thought I'd do a quick overview of both of them. So I'm going to start with the carbon fiber here, pull the box open, these boxes are very nice, the packaging that they come in, uh, here's a knife, comes in a little bag, uh, got a little uh, introduction here as well as a padded box to keep your knife nice and uh, uh, nice and safe and secure. Although these are tough knives, I really thought you'll need it. So, without further ado, here it is. This is the carbon fiber version of the Sage. Uh, this is basically a, um, a tribute to uh, Michael Walker, knife maker, uh, for his uh, liner lock and ball bearing detent method of locking the knife open. Uh, this is very nice feel. As soon as you open it, uh, as soon as you put it in your hand, you'll you'll notice the uh, the carbon fiber is woven, but there's a texture. It's not actually smooth or anything. It's not stand down, so it, it does add a little bit of a of a grip, you know. Um, very nice little pocket clip, also uh, coated, so it matches the the carbon fiber, so it's not like a high polished uh, metal or, or anything. The knife opens very very smoothly. Uh, so here you go. Here's the liner lock. You can see it is an open frame design. So in case you need to clean out uh, dirt, dust, or whatnot, you have in there. Um, and like all uh, Spider Co's, um, they have the traditional kind of leaf design uh, blade here. Uh, There's a fl full flat ground of S30V steel, so very high quality premium steel. There's a little spider logo in the spidey hole there. Uh, overall, I love the way the knife feels in my hand. It's a uh, I got rather small hands, medium to small hands, and. Uh, um, it feels very nice in my hand. Uh, you can hold it all the way down here for like extra reach if you need to, or you can choke up on the blade for you know making power cuts or whatnot. Um, very very nice um, jimping. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's jimping here, jimping on the bottom as well. Um, an overall very 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 excellent knife. Um, and these are you know very smooth openers. You can flick it open. Very quick knife. And uh, you know if the pocket clip doesn't get in the way, that's my main complaint on most knives. If the pocket clip uh, gets in the way for flicking a knife open, you get left-handed as well. Um, it closes it very easily. All right. So now this knife is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Uh, it comes in pretty much the same box, uh, except it's a uh, uh, titanium uh, frame instead. This will be a tribute to Chris Reeve uh, for his uh, R I L or R I L or uh, Reeve Integral Lock or Integral Lock. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Nice high polished uh, uh, clip on the back here. You see, it is a frame lock, um, and again, titanium slabs. Very nice. It's a tiny bit heavier, I believe, than, than the Sage One. So this is a Sage Two. Um, and you can flick it open uh, very, very smooth. Actually, this feels a lot smoother than the uh, Sage, actually. Yeah, actually, it definitely feels a lot, lot smoother than the Sage. Yep, same. Oh, left hand, right hand, it opened very easy, you know. Blade is exactly the same. Um, so, aside from the handle materials, this is basically virtually the same knife. Uh, overall length is 7 and 1 8 um, The blade length here is 3 inches. Clothes length is about a little bit over 4 inches, I believe. Um, and as about, I think it weighs about three and a half ounces, I believe, with the website set up. Uh, uh, and the, the blade thickness is an eighth of an inch, so it's a uh, very, very nice. Uh, the clips are reversible, but only for a um, only for right and left uh, tip-up carry. So you can just take the screw out, move it on this side. Same with the uh, same with the carbon fiber version. So you know, so here you go, side by side comparison right there. Sure. The the uh, the uh, uh, blades come out actually rather easily, so um, you can just flick them out if you really wanted to. Very very nice, very very smooth. Um, you know, this actually feels a little bit stiffer now that I'm opening both of them at the same time. This this does feel like it. Uh, the the blade is detained a lot better than than the titanium version, but basically the exact same. Uh, at any rate, uh, so good jimping, very good design. Uh, got a nice uh, silhouette uh, pocket clip on the back. Um, and at first, I thought these were kind of flimsy and cheesy, could look like paper clips to me. But actually, they're very, very strong. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about bending these out. You know, I wouldn't expect anything less from a Spider Co knife. I've uh, handled a lot of Spider Co knives in the past, but I never owned one. This is, I, I ordered three uh, altogether. So. Um, uh, I'll be doing a review on the uh, uh, last uh, next one. Actually, I'll just give you a preview of it. This is uh, the one I just got. Third one I got. Also the Manix 2. Here you can tell the the, the size difference from the Manix 2 and the Sage. So there you go. 
bigger. So a little bit bigger knife, but at any rate, this will be for uh, a different review. Um, all right, well, there you have it. Uh, the Sage and the Sage 2. All right, thank you for your time.